Did you know that you can use your phone as a gamepad? I found out about it quite recently and you know what? It's quite cool and useful. Of course, it's not the same experience as on Games here T4 Pro, but it's not bad, it's not bad at all. First of all, you need to open your browser. For example, I opened Google Chrome browser and type PC Remote Manect. Then you need to navigate to www.manek.com, link I will leave in the video description. On the official website, click on download and select the first or the second link. I decided to select the first link and save the file to my desktop, but in the end it's all up to you. Next, just install the program in the convenient place for you, it does not necessarily have to be the local C drive. As you can see, there is nothing complicated here. After installation, just run the program. For the next stage, we will need a smartphone. I will be using the Google Pixel 7, but you can use another smartphone, it all depends on you. Open Play Store and type next. Manect PC Remote. This application is free, you just need to install it. After installation, launch the app and now there will be a very important stage, so please take a close look. Check that your PC and phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as this is one of the requirements for everything to work without any problems. After that, tap on connect in the lower right corner of the smartphone. If you do everything correctly, you will see your computer in the local PC section. Then you need to select your PC and after that the computer should successfully synchronize with the smartphone. Very important moment, in the app you should select layouts, after which the Xbox 360 controller will appear in the lower right corner. Finally, tap on Xbox controller and in the appearing window select open. After that you will have buttons and sticks from the gamepad and the only thing you need to do is launch the game and enjoy. Everything worked very quickly for me without lags. And I'll be honest, it was comfortable to play, but everything will depend on the game and the buttons that you need to use in the game. I think it will work for most 2D platformers and not only. That's my opinion. If this video was helpful, please like it. Also, I recommend watching this video on how to use your smartphone as a mouse or a keyboard.